I don't think I want to do this. I think what I want to do is I want to uh, skip turn and then ban low mile per gallon cars. I don't know if this is going to get reelected, but at least it'll put things in the right place. Okay, the garbage can happened again? For crying out loud. Ugh. I'm going to max it. Oh, power line question. Angry citizens are protesting against a project that will build power lines through their village. These power lines are necessary to further increase uh, use of renewable energy sources. Uh, not building them would be an economic setback, but if you ignore the citizens, it will make them even angry in support of their cause. We can build the power lines anyway. No one wants power lines next to their houses. They have to be built somewhere, and until recently, these people have been demanding more clean energy. Power lines would be built, or we could stop construction. There are alternative ways to explore, like underground power lines, and there are claims that the health of those living near power lines may be in danger. It's better to be safe than sorry. Stop, build, 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 stop, 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 build, build, stop, 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 build, 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 stop, stop, build, build, build. Okay, build seems to be ahead. So we'll build them anyway. Oh, it pissed off everyone. This is not good for our re-election. Wow! <laughs> guys, oh my god. We just took such a hit, you guys. Oh my god. Uh, that was really bad. Hopefully it um, it burns off, um, you know, before the election. I don't know. Oof. That's rough. Everyone hates the carbon tax. I mean, I get it. You know, again, no one wants to pay the taxes, but... All right, we're still fighting the obesity. Pollution is going down, maybe not quickly enough. Respiratory disease is going down. I was hoping to get this dealt with before the first term ended, but I don't know. Oh, there's a little bug that can happen in the game over here uh, where some of the circles go a little bit weird. Klipski posted about this. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, let's, um, free bus passes. We'll increase bus usage, which I think indirectly then trickles down to decreasing um, fuel or um, uh, congestion and car usage and stuff, but. We can do a clean fuel subsidy fairly popular. It's not that expensive. Pleases people. New car subsidies? Uh, well, it was a little pricey. Maybe, maybe next time. Speed limits. Major motorist pressure group has lobbied government to get the speed limits on our major roads raised. These speed limits were set many years ago, both car speeds and braking performance improved since then. We could raise speed limits. We have moved on since times when men walked with red flags in front of motor cars. The national speed limits are stupidly low, and the limits are widely ignored. We cannot enforce limits effectively, and until the laws are set in sensible values, it's just encourage people to break the law. We need to raise the limits immediately. Or no change. Speed limits exist for a reason. Enough people die on our roads as is, and speed is often a factor in survivability of car accidents. It's true that people break the limit as it is, but raising it now now we'll just encourage faster, dangerous driving. Leave it unchanged. So chat is saying raise, raise, no change. Raise, 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 no change. Uh, oof, it's going fast. Raise, raise, go full Audubon, right? Um, I feel like raise is outnumbering no change at least two to one over here. So we will raise speed limits. So parents don't like it. Motorists do. CO2 emissions climb, of course, as people burn more fuel, run driving faster. Oh, we can start doing campaign speeches. Let's do some of that. All right. So groups who really want to impress more. Um, we're like 98.4% ethnic minorities. Um, huh. All right. Um, they're mildly satisfied. They'd be a good one to target. Ethnic minorities, motorist liberals would all be good ones to target because they don't love me. Um... Uh, but they're a significant block. Middle income would be another one as well. A 
Put that on capitalist. Youth retired. Poor versus rich. State employees. Youth. Well, we could do speeches specifically talking to conservatives and religious groups, um, because as it turns out, this wouldn't actually give us any sort of negative. It's too bad we can't seem to target one of the major groups we're interested in. Well, what we could do is we could acknowledge here, so this would boost liberals. It would upset the conservatives, but we're boosting them over here. The liberals is a pretty big group, so that would be a pretty important one to target. Of course it's possible to have 100% ethnic minorities. It would mean that there would be, you know, if, if no particular group exceeds, say, 10% of your population, you could have 100% of your population all be various shades of minorities. Sorry. I was using shade in the general sense. Please don't yell at me. All right, so this speech theoretically went over well. I don't know how much it's actually going to uh, help me here. Slight deficit, but pretty balanced. We've got some points left over. Hmm. The import tariffs would help us fight with our uncompetitive economy, but I'm not sure that's really the path I want to take. I'm getting a little desperate. I might have to cut some taxes. never did do public libraries. You know, tariffs are usually bad for the economy. But if people are forced, if, if foreign goods are more expensive and they're forced to buy it locally, it can, it, it basically, it's, um, it just patches over things. I'm going to do this because it's a policy that won't upset anyone. We need a few of those right now. And libraries are cool. Labor Day bank holiday. Not that many people like it. Socialists like it, but lowers the GDP. Housing market boom, which is bad for the poor and the socialists, because if, if, if house prices are really high, it hurts them. Increase the generational wealth gap. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, uh, I'm going to get assassinated by the religious. Okay, I can do another speech. Good. Um, Mostly we're looking for, like, categories with a lot of people. There's a lot of state employees. More state employees than these. Oh, uh, there's not a lot of farmers, but it is a nice freebie. Not a lot of patriots either. We have more capitalists than socialists. We can go in and pay a little lip service over there. And then maybe take one of these freebies with, like, the farmers, for example. How many of these can I add? Oh, apparently I can add four of these. Okay. If I lose the election, you won't be assassinated. That's true! Might be my best move here. We should try a few more political stunts. It's annoying that we lost our one at 80% right away. Okay, mostly better. 
You see, I don't know how we get more people in on this. 81% chance of success. Eats breakfast in a typical builder's cafe. Oh, there's even more down here. Um, okay, this still seems like a good one. How many 80% rolls am I going to lose? You know? Alright, we'll have to save up some more points. So XCOM. At this point, I'm just worried about getting, not getting reelected and the people smuggling. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we could allow them to stay. I'm w hoping if I say yes here, it actually helps um, with the opinion of ethnic minorities, um, which is a big voting block that we need. It does. And liberals, such a big voting block. Also makes me seem more compassionate. Go figure. All right, manifestos. We can make some pledges for the next term should we get reelected. We could promise to cut income tax by 25%. I mean, which means lowering it by 12.5%. Because I think this is, this is based on what the current values and stuff are. Um... Interesting. Executive term length and limit can both be pledged as well. Yeah, gender equality would be nice. It's currently 61%. I wonder what would be involved in raising that. Okay. Secularity of education... Well, we'll make the non-religious happy. I guess the religious don't we don't care about them anyway, right? Okay, liberals going up. They're big voter block, so uh, I'm also gonna pledge. I will pledge to cut income tax. You know, what? at this point, I got to do something crazy. <clears throat> All right, middle income people love that, so that's gonna help. Oh, yeah, we can actually cut back on intelligence services. It's not a bad idea. Because we did max it out for a while to help with the um, the cyber warfare. But we could pull back on that. Now, I don't think I have to do that now. I think that's like post-election situation. Mm -mm. I think I have to work on more electioneering stuff. Oh, I can, I can select some more sound bites. Yes, please. Um... So capitalist, I'm going to say capitalist over socialist here. The socialists are already happy and there's more capitalists. So again, we'll pay some lip service over there. And it's pretty overwhelming uh, lean. Um, social, we could, we could, we could work both sides. I work both sides. So I always come out ahead. This is going to slightly upset the capitalists, the soundbite, but it's going to help the socialists. And then over there. So hopefully we come out a little ahead. Um, this is only one tick up. Who's this? Middle income. Well, there are a lot of middle income. So that would be nice. Ethnic minorities. Yes, we need to. Buff the shit out of that. That's huge. <clears throat> All right, not much over here. Okay. 15% boost on ethnic minorities is massive, and they are, like, we are a country of ethnic minorities here. Speech, good. Speechification, really high. Anger feed support for other things, yeah. Uh, but they're not, they're not angry. Now, we haven't made any more policy changes. Oh, obesity should go away next turn. That's huge! Okay. Oh, is it the election now? Oh, Lord. I'm not even going to get credit for the, solving the obesity epidemic. I think this might be the... This might be the end, my friends. This might be the end. The problem is... Not having our... Oh, my God. It's so hard to see. Ho, 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 ho! Just squeezed by! Ho, ho! 
Wait, no one voted for the Crepe Capitalists at all? That's weird. <laughs> Just, uh, we have an overwhelming mandate, everyone. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's completely reshuffle our cabinet. Actually, maybe not you. 2.5 is pretty good. And a 2.5 over there. That's really good as well. <clears throat> wow. Well, it was an impressive victory, but it turns out all we needed is a victory. So, that's something. Uh, yeah, you still suck at campaign, which is a problem. 1.8, not much over there. Mostly you're low on, uh, on experience, which is building. Might put you back in here. I'm going to put you in. Minister of Welfare. Yeah, that's a good one here. The Chancellor for Taxes. I think they go quite low to find someone interested in doing taxi things. Um, let me come back to you. One sec. Transport Minister. Yeah, I was going to say, you want that. You've got the 1.9. Although we got a 1.9 here who's actually a little higher in campaigning. And another one over here, too. Oh, but you don't, you're not interested in transport. So, we'll grab you uh, for Law and Order, 1.9. Yeah, you don't really have an interest in it, although you're otherwise pretty good. And then for Taxes, well, I think Liam is going to get back into this. Okay. Okay. We have solved the obesity epidemic. Nuclear test brand treaty. Uh, are we going to sign the treaty to not do any more nuclear tests? I think I like that idea. It's going to be... Environmentalists are going to like it. Um, patriots aren't going to like it. But it'll probably increase um, uh, foreign relations, which is going to be really good. And chat overwhelmingly wants to sign the treaty. So we'll do that. There he goes. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Small budget deficit, which is fine. The global economy is in recession. Oh, yeah, look at the global economy. I hadn't realized it's been tanking, 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 tanking. Whereas our relative GDP is, like, insanely high up here, which is nice to see. We've basically got a balanced budget. Um, obesity going away is going to be massive. It's going to help dock some of these others down. All right, we did have some promises. Um, where's our manifesto? Over here. So, first things first. I'm going to cut the intelligence services to save a little bit of money. So it's currently 100%. We need to bring it down to 75%. Oh, it's actually got the pledge on there. Oh, and it turns green. Okay, I think I will just drop it to here because we still need it for, you know, some not getting assassinated kind of security. But we will fulfill our pledge to cut intelligence services right away. Boom. Is there a real estate bubble coming? Where do we get the news article over here? Where is the, okay, yeah, it's definitely close. Um, rent controls I think help to fight the real estate bubble not sure real estate bubble means the prices are too high right and it's going to pop and go crazy so we sort of want to like bring the prices a little bit more controlled or fund more housing. Maybe it's just there's not enough housing. That might be it. There's not enough housing, so uh, it's hard to get stuff. Yeah. Respiratory disease is on a clear downward slope, which is linked to our pollution fighting uh, attempts, and that is continuing to go well, which is nice to see. Uh, reforestation, we do have that fully funded, which is going to be helping a fair bit. Love to see it. Uncompetitive economy still slipping down, which is nice. Gig economy is getting kind of worse here. Environmental protests going away as well. Um, I'm wondering if we strengthen labor laws. Yeah, see, it actually makes doctor strikes more likely. Um, but it helps to fight the gig economy it ensures that jobs, you know, pay well and are decent and things. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Public housing, capitalist building by... Yeah, and maybe maybe we should look into more, um, more public housing. 
its rent controls. Which one of these is, uh, what is this one? Family planning. Rent where? Okay. Do we not have any public housing? Is that what's going on? State housing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go middle ground. It's going to be okay. Yeah, three ministers aren't showing up, are they? They're there. Probably they'll show up as we advance to the next month. I have a deficit. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead. Um, we all we did pr promise to bring down income taxes, so we still have to do that at some point. Um, gender equality. We'll see what we can do there. Secularity of this uh, it takes a lot of points to raise. I think a lot of this is gonna be fairly. Um... Okay, we're just gonna save some points here. Disputed territory repatriated. Oh, patriots like it. Religious plot. Okay, the number of uh, people uh, in the religious group uh, who want to assassinate me have gone down some, which is nice to see. There is a de budget deficit. That is to be expected because there is a global recession happening. Okay, phone. I don't know what you're letting me know about. Hospital overcrowding slightly going down. Quality. We could boost the child benefit. So this is the thing. Oh, wow. Target 91%. That is going to be very difficult to achieve here. Well, let's have... It's going to take a while to kick in, and that will help. Um, although, hold on. Let's think about our... Oh, there we go. Nice and green. Um, where we want to spend our points. Can I get up to the green one? Just... Barely cost 36. Oh, yeah, so no, I can't. What's our cap? 38. Okay. Uh, we're going to get about 22. So let's try to end with at least 16 points left. Ideally, 17 for the rounding. So we want to spend no more than 5. That's really not much. Although, if I just end now, it wastes. Ideally, we can squeeze in, like, spending five points somewhere. Childcare provisions, I believe, will help with gender equality. Unless I just run this. I think what I'll do is I'll just end turn, and then we'll change the secularism in school. Well, empty home tax. Yeah, that would be that would be good to help fight some of those problems, but I need to save my points for something else here. Tax cryptocurrency? We will see. For now, I will just advance. Oh, freedom of information. Um, so, by allowing more freedom of information, it might be a bit of a security risk. On the other hand, um, you know liberals and things like that will be good. It helps to fight corruption. Do we want to reject freedom of information or propose the Freedom Act? Reject or propose. Freedom, freedom, propose, 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 propose. Okay, yeah, we'll propose the Freedom Act. Liberals like it. State employees don't like it because it means a little more scrutiny on their stuff and more paperwork in general, which is okay. So we've got the budget deficit. Again, there's this global recession happening. A budget deficit is just going to be something we have to accept. There's something like well, icon. Oh, I think that's the old obesity icon that's hiding up over there. Um, okay. What I'm going to do, just because, you know, it was a big thing and we've got to get it out of the way here for a promise, is secularity of education. Um, and I don't mind bringing it to the max here. The religious already hate me. So and this will decrease religious membership over time. I've got to spend 36 to get at this point anyway. We'll have an atheist state. They're going to hate me anyway. We just have to hope they don't assassinate me through other means. Hmm. <laughs> 